So today we're going to learn how to make invisible ink using just common items you can find at any grocery store. We're going to start with water. Get, get the water there. We need baking soda, which is real cheap. Grape juice, preferably from concentrate. Uh, a series of complex measuring devices, also very cheap. Uh, stirring instruments, recycled of course. And paper, also recycled. So to make the ink, you're going to need to take your baking soda and water, which we have here, and we're going to need to mix those in equal parts. We'll use a stirring rod, very fine for college students, to mix them up. The mixture will be grainy, not all the baking soda will dissolve. Once it's mixed, you take another stirring rod, which is also recycled, and you're going to dip it in there and draw your message. This is probably the most difficult part of the whole experiment. The paper will absorb the water and hold the sodium bicarbonate, which is baking soda, in its fibers. Sodium bicarbonate is a weak base, and that's how this works as an invisible ink. After the message dries, we, uh, we bring in the grape juice and take the other end of the stirring rod and draw over the message. The sodium bicarbonate is slightly basic and the grape juice is slightly acidic. When the grape juice is, is acidic, it's, it's got a dark purple color to it. But when it, becomes, uh, when it reacts with a base, it actually becomes lighter and becomes pink. So a message uh, should stand out. And it looks like it's, it's coming to, to form here. Perhaps not the most scientific methods of doing things, but, well, we're not in the lab either. And it looks like our message came out pretty well. If you can't read that, I think you have bigger problems than chemistry, so. Well, that's how you make invisible ink.